I'm making some baklava to give away at my concert. So some lucky person is going to get this pan of baklava. And the way I make it, it's very healthy. There's no sugar. It's all local honey, uh, fresh butter, and nuts. Uh, I use a combination of several different nuts, kind of as a protein complement, a little bit of seeds in there. And it's amazingly delicious, so you wouldn't believe it. So um, right now, I'm going to take this phyllo dough that's very thin, and uh, I'm going to cut it to approximately the shape of the pan. So it, it's okay if it's not exactly, it can be a little bit more, a little less, because it'll crimp around the edges. So I'll cut the whole stack. And uh, don't worry, I can use this, this piece also. I can use this, the extra trimmings for the middle layers. And so it's about this size, okay. So right about there. So that's gonna make the layering go a lot quicker. And I'll also use this to, to layer as well. So I'll start off, I've just melted a stick and a half of butter here, and I'll butter the pan. Uh, get a little layer on the bottom there. Here the phyllo dough in there, and it doesn't have to be exact. It, it, it's really, uh, really very forgiving. So I'm just gonna dab some butter on there. Put another layer on. And I have to, it looks like my phyllo dough has dried out a little bit. I let it sit a bit too long. I have here some, a, a very slightly wet towel that just adds a little moisture. So if it gets too dry, you don't want that to dry out. It'll uh, dry out a bit and then it'll, it'll break more easily. So keeping that moist so that uh, it'll be more easy to use later on. Okay, so dabbing some butter. We're gonna put, you know, put more butter on as we get to the, the later layers. And this is something that you can even have uh, friends help you with. Uh, even kids sometimes enjoy doing this, uh, layering the butter and the phyllo, and then after you get a few layers on the bottom, then we're going to start layering the nuts as well. So just a couple more, and then we're ready to layer the nuts. This wants to stick together here. This is uh, some uh, phyllo is a little easier to play with than, than others. There we go. But just as delicious. So um, the little crimps in the phyllo dough will just be beautiful in the final product. So I've just uh, taken some nuts and, and a little bit of seeds. I uh, uh, make the seeds a little more fine than the nuts, and I have kind of a medium consistency. And so I, I mix nuts with, uh, with a little bit of cinnamon, and I can sprinkle just a, just a little cinnamon on there. But you know what I can do is just mix the cinnamon in with the nuts. So it's a heaping tablespoon of cinnamon, and then that's already done for me. And that's going to go a lot quicker for the next layer. All right. And now just uh, we'll do phyllo and butter and nuts for, for a while. So, but it does go a lot quicker if you have some help. Brian, would you like to help me with this? Okay. So we can make the baklava as tall as we want it to be. And the very last layer, I sometimes like to put some coarsely chopped nuts, or even some different types of nuts before finishing up. Are you finishing up? Yeah, but for the top layers, we need about seven layers, so we'll use some of those.
Okay, so we don't have to use all of the phyllo or all the, the butter, just as, as high as you want to make it. And then it's important to cut uh, before you cook it. So I'm going to chop all the way through. I like the triangular shape, so I'm going to cut this at a diagonal. Okay, now it's ready to go into the oven. Sometimes I like to uh, sprinkle it with some nuts on when it's partially through baking, but most of the time I uh, just have it uh, just plain on the top. So today it'll be a, a more plain version. And one important thing is I have a pan of water underneath. Let's see. And the water uh, keeps it moist in the oven, so that keeps the baklava from drying out too much. And I have it just a little over 325, so find a less than 350. It'll vary between 325 or just a little higher than that, depending on your oven. And then we'll set this for 20 minutes and then see what happens. It's almost time for the baklava to come out, so I'll take the juice of half of the lemon. In fact, this lemon's a little bit big, so I'll do just shy of half, half the juice and uh, pour that in there. Pouring that into the honey, so that gives the honey a lovely tang there. Mix that up. So I, got, I got one lemon seed in there. I'm gonna grab that out. But um, let's check on the baklava. Oh, yes. liquid all the way on top. It's completely covered and that's going to go into all these crevices. So make sure we cover the whole thing. So that's now going to seep in there. And uh, yeah, that was about two cups, just shy of two cups of honey. And the hardest part now is to wait until it cools and not eat it too soon. I, I'm going to just grab one of those pieces right now. Do it. Oh, don't do it, don't do it. Okay, no, I can't because I'm giving this away. This is going to be uh, mailed to uh, some um, lucky winner at the, my concert. So, wonderful, my online concert. And hopefully, I hope it's you. <laughs>